The UFC and WWE merger is finally complete under the new umbrella company, TKO. I'm going to ask the question, what's next? But before I do, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe as we have brand new videos every single week. When it was announced that Endeavor was going to buy WWE, it just made a lot of sense to me. Combat sports and professional wrestling have had a long connected history. Japanese shoot wrestling, Anoki versus Ali, Ken Shamrock and Dan Severn. Dan Severn used to go to UFC events holding the WWF belt and vice versa. Um, and in the modern era, we have people like Brock Lesnar, Bobby Lashley, even Dave Batista, and of course, yeah, we don't want to talk about that guy. Um, not all experiments work, okay? Um, and then we have people going the other way. We have people like Ronda Rousey, Matt Riddle. We had DC as a referee last year. Even when I first started watching the UFC, I was told it's WWE, but real. So I cannot express my disappointment when Chuck Liddell didn't hit Tito Ortiz over the head with a steel chair and do a flying moonsault off the top of the cage. Disappointed! Now that the two companies have merged, what does this exactly mean? Well, Dana White has been made the CEO of the UFC and Vince McMahon is the executive chairman of the new parent company, TKO. And apparently in his contract, it says that he's executive chairman until he dies. <laughs> you have no power here. But what does this mean for viewers? Well, we'll probably see little to no difference. UFC fighters contracts and wrestlers contracts are under their very specific organization. So don't expect to see Roman Reigns versus John Jones at UFC 300. But I want it now! <laughs> Professional wrestlers are not trained fighters. Of course, some of them are tough as nails and are genetic freaks and have actual wrestling experience, but they're not looking to get beaten up for 24 grand every six months. It's just a completely different kind of thing altogether. And it's also a very different audience. Of course, there's a crossover fan base, but WWE is ultimately a family show and UFC is They're aiming at different demographics entirely. And I can't imagine many UFC guys wanting to go over to WWE either. A lot of injuries can happen in both promotions. You don't want to be the number one contender in the middleweight division. You're about to fight for the title. And then you go do a quick five minute spot in the Royal Rumble and break your collarbone. And then you're out for a year. Crossing himself. Oh! I imagine if anything is cross-based, it'll be retired fighters like DC going over to be a referee or do some small spots. And Triple H is still remained the head of creative in WWE, and he s does seem to do quite well when stars come over. So we could see something happen, but I don't expect a lot. At most, we'll probably see fighters in each other's audiences and maybe some cross-promotion in cross-promotional material like adverts and commercials and that's all I'm really expecting. The real difference will all be in the background. Restructuring the company, um, a lot of people are going to lose their jobs. That's just unfortunately what happens with these kind of mergers. Um, you don't need two people doing the same job like accountants, PR, human resources. Well, I think with Vince McMahon, maybe they should keep two HR teams because... <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. Um, let's move on very, very quickly. Um, TKO will ultimately have a lot more money to play around with. Their stock price has shut up drastically and they'll have even more power within the sports world. They'll make better deals for TV, streaming and pay-per-view rights. They'll have more money to invest in the UFC's PIs and production value will probably go up. You know those 4K cameras where they show us it for about five seconds? We might start getting more stuff like that in the fights and I very much doubt that fighters are going to get paid more either which is a shame because if they're making so much more money perhaps that should trickle down but as far as fans and audiences go um it'll have little to no effect on us at least not in the short term maybe in the long term we might start to see some big differences but I wouldn't expect anything soon but that's my breakdown of the WWE slash UFC 
merger. I'm excited to see what happens next. Thank you everyone for watching. If you can like, comment and subscribe, it really does help us out.